Good morning, Peace Up. I'm Cece. And I'm Noah. And we're here with your announcements. Seniors looking to get started on a career right after graduation should consider attending our PCCS Student Employment Fair, which will take place on Thursday, May 25th from 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. at Canton High School in the automotive slash CTE facility. Uh, students will have the opportunity to engage with many local businesses looking to hire graduating seniors for jobs that may offer on-the-job training or apprenticeships, as well as some of our great local community colleges and military recruiters. Professional attire is a must. Students may come and walk through the fair at any time. Students should plan to bring 10 to 15 copies of their resume. The Peace Up Palestinian Awareness Club will host community members for an event highlighting Palestine's current events, history, and culture when it presents Through the Eyes of Palestine on Friday, June 2nd in the Cannes High School cafeteria. There will be food, trivia, and prizes. The event runs from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Please RSVP for the event. Seniors, be sure to submit all books and materials to the appropriate offices and book room before you finish next week. That's all for your announcements. Good morning, PSIP. I'm Jacob, and I'm here with the news bit. A Nepali man who lost both his legs while serving in the military just became the first double above the knee amputee to climb Mount Everest. The man, whose name is Hari Magar, lost his legs 13 years ago and for a long time battled depression because of it. Magar was even banned from climbing Mount Everest due to restrictions on double amputees being able to climb the mountain. Magar helped run a campaign to remove this ban and succeeded. Magar climbed the mountain, surviving the freezing cold, and was able to reach the peak and spent a few minutes up there with an oxygen mask because of the effects of elevation. When Magar gets back to the service, he says he wants to go back to the place in Afghanistan where he lost his legs to an IED and say thank you. What's going on, peace up? Last night, the Phillies defeated the Diamondbacks 6-5 in the 10th after a two-run homer in the bottom of the 9th, sending the game into extras. The Tigers also defeated the Royals 6-4. In the NHL playoffs, the Panthers swept the Hurricanes, earning their spot in the Stanley Cup Finals. The Knights play the Stars tonight with the Knights leading 3-0. These teams are going head-to-head -head in an epic matchoff to secure their place in the Stanley Cup Finals. Tonight, the Heat plays the Celtics, with the Heat hoping to bounce back from a loss and win the series where they will potentially match up against the Nuggets in the Finals.
Montana. I'm a Salem student and I'm a junior. Um, my experience is actually really fun. We got to meet a lot of people in a lot of food shows and it was kind of like a lot of booths that we got to go to and so I want to go into culinary and hospitality and management when I get older and so there was a lot of people there who could help me further my knowledge in that field. Yes, it was actually. My favorite thing about the food show was honestly just meeting the people and getting those connections and we got a bunch of swag. <laughs> It was just a great learning experience and it was fun to go for the very first time and hopefully I get to go again. certainly could be the end credits for a film. Right, you're going to see them scrolling up there from the bottom of the screen.